all right to create a new employee we use post method okay so similar to this function get we will create another function and call it as post okay and make sure you are creating the function inside this class okay so the indentation is very important okay so these functions will be a member function of this particular employee class all right so let's say define post and first of all it will accept the self and after that it will take a request colon and then uh, if you look at this one what we are doing if the method is post then we are accepting the request data or the incoming data from this request dot data and we are putting it inside the student serializer right similar thing that uh, you know here also we need to do serializer serializer is equal to employee serializer and we will accept the data that is coming from the request right so inside the request we have something called data okay so we have the data now and uh, we will have to first check if this serializer is valid or not serializer dot is valid and serializer dot save if it is valid we should save the serializer and then we will return the response return the response inside this response we pass serializer dot data comma status is equal to status dot http 201 created okay and if it is not valid then we should return this 400 bad request we will simply copy this copy this line and paste it here return response serializer dot errors status dot http 400 bad request okay now let's test and you see class based views does not accept any kind of decorators like api view right so it doesn't need those decorators this api view class you know it's a base class it has a lot of functionalities okay so this will take care of everything by default okay so now let's go to here and again you know just click on this get or you can simply refresh it and here you can see we have the form right in this form we can post the data that will get stored in the database let's try this you know let's try to save one data here we don't need to pass the id let's say we want to create the new data right employee one is there two is there let's create emp003 and i will say joseph and let's say his designation will be software tester okay click on post and you see we have got this http 201 created right so this is the response that we are passing from the backend and you see our data has been created and you can click on this get and you can see we have got all the data including the one we have created okay so that's how we use get and post method for fetching the data and creating the new data and in the next one we will learn to perform the primary key based operations such as getting the single employee updating the employee and deleting the employee okay using class based view